Oh, hello. <laughs> uh, two, two years ago, I did some shows in London, some of you may have seen, and on one of them, I spent altogether too much time talking to two Englishmen about sex education. At least that's what the censor thought. Um, anyway, the gentlemen in question are Peter Cook and Dudley Moore, who are two of the funniest Englishmen ever to come down the pike. They were in that marvelous, funny, satirical review beyond the fringe on Broadway about, it's almost 10 years ago now. Alan Bennett and Jonathan Miller, the other two members of that, have presumably gone on to more respectable lives. But uh, Peter and Dudley, praises B, are back at it again. And they open on Broadway next month in something called Good Evening. Uh, we figured we would ask them back, and if they want to bring us up to date on sex education in England or anything else, uh, or tell us why they were thrown off Australian television, uh, that will be fine. They are hilarious men. Um, I've known people visiting England who stayed an extra week uh, to see their next installment of Cook and Moore's television shows when they were doing them regularly there. Maybe they are again now. Um, anyway, will you welcome, please, Peter Cook and Dudley Moore. <laughs> I know. I, sorry if I overintroduced you. You don't need to do anything now if you don't want to. I didn't quite catch it. I'd like to hear it. Oh, would you like to hear that again? Yeah, I'd like to hear the introduction. We missed it. Well, I'll give you what he said was these. Oh, things. no. Now, wait a minute. Some years ago, say nine years it is since Beyond the Fringe. I can't believe it. Time has, has flown so. Can you? It, is, it hasn't flown. It's oh. dragged very slowly by. You mean they haven't been glittering, scintillating years for you? Or? Oh, th there have been seconds here and there, yes. <laughs> no, good evening, sir. That's good my evening. plug for the show. I say, good evening, good evening, good evening, good evening. <coughs> yeah, I announced that your show is called Good Evening. That's quite it's an exciting thing to say. title, really. I mean, it's good. Yeah, Who it's thought right. that up? That's really good. Years of research, and we finally <laughs> whittle this one down. What are some of the titles you uh, rejected? I suppose good you could. Night. Uh, Behind Good Night. Good, good, good morning. Forget it. Fine. Um, <laughs> the worst show that's ever been seen on Broadway. We threw that one out. <laughs> titles like I Couldn't Care Less. Yeah. One a, Night Stand. Um, yeah, other things. Did anybody tell you that it's not a particularly sexy title, Good Evening? Um, anyone try to argue oh, out of it? Or? We don't need to project any sort of uh, sexuality, Dick. We're beyond that. <laughs> <laughs> we did call it Behind the Fridge, you know, uh, in London. Uh, behind the Fridge, that's Behind right. the Fridge instead of Beyond the Fringe. <laughs> <laughs> that's um, right. I, I saw your posters on uh, whatever you call buses in England. Um, yeah, we call them buses. Bus we call them buses. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, um, We're very strange that way, Dick. Yes, taking our words and using them in yeah. the same sense as yeah. we do. Yeah. I don't know. I, it's always confused me. How would you get to... Uh, thrown off the Australian telly, or is that a lie? <gasps> well, oh. we did the most terrible thing on Australian television, on a live television show. We said two very naughty words. We said and we said bum. <laughs> of course, bum, you know, bum means uh, bottom. Bottom, yeah. Yeah. In England, of course. Yeah. And in Australia. And how about means At least you weren't concealing I didn't anything. That in the laboratory. <laughs> <laughs> that uh, seems straightforward enough. What, what on earth could they have objected to about? Well, that? in fact, the um, the tone of the program was slightly bent, shall we say, <laughs> by the. Uh, I didn't mean that, really. <laughs> by the the, the mm. chap uh, Dave Allen, who was uh, hosting the show, because yeah. he told one of the floor managers uh, who was bothering him uh, to go. And this sort of hit the ground uh, with it a dull thud, much as it did just now. It produced and a, a, a deathly silence. Well, it didn't, as it opposed was to the hilarity. Followed by hysterical giggling. And then yeah. we came on and said these two words, not really wanting to be sensational at all, but it no, all what, got what out of doing? hand. We were doing a live commercial, weren't we? Yes. And you got the words wrong. That's right. And I said, I'm sorry, it's again. And, uh, Meaning inebriated. Uh, inebriated. Uh, mildly yeah. inebriated, yes. Yeah. Nothing more than that. Yes. And Sorry about that. Big, we're dragging the show down. I, no, you're not. I mean, you're... <laughs> <laughs> we say those things every night, don't we? I... Do you, do you how, want to bra it... break your right leg again? What? You were talking about calisthenics yeah. and so on. What? Do you want to break your right leg again? 
Yeah. Uh, there you go. To do this, is, it's very easy. You just go down like that, right? Yeah. And you come up like that, right? Well, that's very hard if you... No, know. it's very easy. You haven't been doing it's it. It's very easy. Why would I want to do it? I'd just like to see you break your leg, that's all. <laughs> <laughs> well, we'll, we'll, um, we'll take a break there. <laughs> <laughs> I have a feeling my leg is being pulled. Why should, you, what are you, are you gonna get me down there and do something? Obviously. I guess you can't say that here either. They're probably the last five minutes of the show haven't appeared. They've gone. Yes. <laughs> I don't know. No, I forgot, it is funny. In England, you quickly adjust to being able to say any number of things that you can't say here. And uh, the theory, which I think is a sound one, is that the kiddies are probably in bed after 8 o'clock or something, mm. and they don't get worried about that. And you see what is euphemistically called uh, frontal nudity on right. British television. And uh, the empire, as we all know, is in better condition than uh, Japan after the last war. What are you uh, trying to say, Dick? <laughs> I, I, I don't know quite why follow there should that. be that. No, I'm Peter and Dudley. Isn't it true I was saying to Dick before that in England they're much... Uh, stricter against violence than they yeah. are against nudity. What is and it? I but think so, yes. And yeah. I agree. I think it's, I think <coughs> violence is a much greater problem. I mean, as far as children are concerned, adults should have the right to be able to see or hear anything they want to, no? But, yeah, but, I think so. Isn't that what censorship a, is all about? It's just for children. There was a long, yes. there's a long um, hassle going on at the moment about the latest Peck and Pack film in England. And the censor there wants to cut out, I think, something like a minute and a half. I haven't seen the movie, but... Um, there's a lot of violence in it, and they want to cut out 45 seconds of it. Hmm. But uh, I think kids see, um, on the other hand, I think kids see so much violence in their own homes that to um, censor it on the television screen or the movie screen is possibly... Um, well, what do you mean they see so much violence in their own homes? What are you... Verbal mental violence, which is just as damaging as... Um, people shooting each other up. I mean, not as damaging as you, you don't die from a... You mean vegetable. mothers and fathers? Mothers and, and fathers, yeah. But wasn't there research done that actually showed that violence on television did actually affect children quite positively? I mean, that, that I think, was a, a research done in London. You mean it's in a catharsis? I mean, it that, that it sort a... of encourages them to think that it's, um, it's easy to do and um, not that destructive, not that dangerous, whereas, in fact, of course, it I've watched. Be. Lots of violent things and it doesn't fall. <laughs> oh! <coughs> the man's absolutely... You've just mangled my arm. What Dick said, which, which he did... You uh, did it in a, a sort of very gaggy way, but yeah. we were talking about your movie, Scallywag, um, saying, well, that, that shows you can jump off a cliff and you don't get hurt. I mean, that, that, is, a, that is a sort of valid point, isn't it? Because the violence is there. People die but you or don't, get hurt. You don't, you don't well, see it. But the difference between... It's like, uh, it's like seeing a movie when you're a kid and there, there are deaths, but there's no dying. You know what I mean? They're killing, but no blood. So it's sort of it's a little bit making it a little bit, uh, you know, of, of a fantasy. I think people, as you say, have got to have a certain amount, be exposed to a certain amount of, of violence because that's a part of life. But yeah. what, what he's saying is that's bad, isn't it? I mean, you say that you see the gun fired, but if you leave out the scene where somebody falls, then the consequences of firing a gun do not become clear. Are you suggesting I go back to Yugoslavia and redo a lot of the scenes? <laughs> <out of way? laughs> I think a couple months reshooting would help. All right. Uh, we'll be right back after this message.